the elder out of uh, Baltimore, he said, I'm like a miracle that I didn't get sucked into this system. Because um, I was telling him I graduated from uh, North Carolina and State, right? He was like, yeah, you did? I said, yeah. He said, it's a miracle, man. You didn't get sucked into this white man's system. So he kind of said it in his own words. What's that brother name? I love that brother, man. The elder out of uh, Baltimore. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Standing back out here on the front lines for our Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And we're going to bring out the gospel. There's a lot going on around the world today. And specifically, I want to talk about what's happening domestically here in the daughter of Babylon. There's been upwards of about 200 food processing plants that have burned down to the ground. So we're going to see a food scarcity get expedited over these next several months cattle is being killed off farmers are being paid to kill off their cattle so we're going to see beef shortages we're going to see food and grain shortages especially with the on the ongoing war over in the ukraine which is a global bread basket between the ukraine and russia we're going to see fuel prices go up <coughs> because of this ongoing war and the increasing aggression from China or Moab against Taiwan. And if any war breaks out, it sucks up resources, fuel, oil, food, grain, cereal, beef, because the soldiers got to eat and fight. So we're going to see things get worse or exacerbate over these next several months. And this concept of Eve saying, I don't need a man, that's going to be flushed right down on the toilet. It's going to be every man for himself. This place is going to be the wild, wild west out here. So a man is going to be like golden Ophir. And before we get started, we're going to face the east. All praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor and respect to the elders, to the apostles, the great millstone. Much love, honor, and respect to the beloved brothers, helping to edify the body and feed the lambs of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And salutations to the beloved, the beloved ladies of the hopeful elect of the house of David, listening and learning in meekness and humility as the scriptures command to do so. So we're going to bring it out. Let judgment rain down upon the wicked. So we're going to go into some of the global elite plans. And quite honestly, this is one of my favorite topics, talking about the wicked global elite, the 13 Illuminati families, and what their sinister plans are. And that word sinister comes from the Latin sinistre or sinister, which means left hand or wicked, a sinister. We're going to announce the title of the art, uh, article and the author. The Club of Rome. How climate hysteria is being used to create global governance by Tyler Durden. Now, I was inspired to do this through uh, Elder Apostle Ramla. I went into the Club of Rome. I want to hit that real quick uh, about this second beast in Revelation 13. I saw a beast coming up out of the sea. So this beast is Rome. And they have reorganized themselves under the European Union and NATO. So they have been regenerated or reincarnated in the last days. God, it's the book of Revelation chapter 13 from the top. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, 
having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns. So these seven heads is talking about the kingdoms under Rome. Germania Minor, Germania Major, Greece, Rome, France, Spain, and Great Britain. Those are the, uh, the seven kingdoms but that would come out of the ancient Roman Empire. Come on. And upon his head, the name of blasphemy, and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear. Under Alexander the Greek, he wore a leopard skin. So he would start the domination under Edomite supremacy around 330 BC. Alexander the Greek, the Macedonian, the son of King Philip. And his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. So their military is, the, their power is through the sword. Paul talks about this in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, with all power, lion signs, and wonders. Mm -hmm. So they are maximizing technological advances in order to suppress the earth and their military. Now that bear is Gog and Magog that's gonna end this kingdom of tyranny under the Edomites, which they're also Edomites, but they're fulfilling the role of Gog and Magog occupying the ancient lands of the Medes. Come on. Right. And they worship the dragon, which gave power onto the beast, and they worship the beast, saying, who was like unto the beast? Who was able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. You wanna hold that and go to second uh, Thessalonians chapter two, all power signs and lying wonders. So they're utilizing a technocracy backed up by a military arm. So they cause fire to come down from heaven. They have what's called fire power through their sea, air, and land assets. So they're able to dominate sovereign territories. So we're going to go into what Paul said about this beast. Starting some around words. Power signs and nine wonders. Let's go after the coming of Satan. I'm going to start off at around verse 7. Let's go to 6. Con, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, starting off at verse 6. And now ye know that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Mm -hmm. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now leadeth will let until he be taken out of the way. So they were in power under uh, Paul's time. This is Rome, the beast. Come on. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, mm -hmm. whom the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Mm -hmm. Even him whose coming is after working, so like even him whose coming is at the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. The technology, which is going to culminate in the implementation of the sea hit, a mark of the beast. And with all deceivableness and, of, and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. We're going to go right back to uh, that the dragon gave him his power. So this man is utilizing the elements, chemistry, science, technology, which is a technocratic system that he's going to use. Satellite imagery, global positioning system, giving life to those that can't walk, paraplegics, lying signs and wonders, science. Their medicine is a part of that. Like the serpent's piss that IUIC, the purple people eaters, lost 20 something members and told them to go ahead and take it. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
Revelation 13, verse 4. Yep. And they worship the dragon, Beautiful. which gave power unto the beast. It is. And they worship the beast, hmm. saying, Who was like unto the beast, who was able to make war with him? Yep. And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, yep. and power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months. The angels are so-called white. Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, is so-called white. The Israelites are so-called white. The Most High and touching Adam are so-called white men, buck naked, touching each other. So this man got a lot to pay for. Blasphemies. Come on. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy mm -hmm. against the Most High to blaspheme his name yep. and his tabernacle mm -hmm. and them that dwell in heaven. Ooh. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints yep. and to overcome them mm -hmm. and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. This is a global empire that's showing you their birth out of the ancient Roman regime. So they are reborn, ruling over the kings of the earth. Come on. Verse eight, and all that dwell upon the earth yep. shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb. So he's gonna cause those that believe in him to get his seal, his mark. So the elect are sealed with the word and the name. Come on, read that again, but we can shot, didn't even cut you off. Come on, Revelation 13, verse eight. And all that dwell upon the earth yep. shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb, mm. slain from the foundation of the world. Yep. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. So this is telling you a there is a signature mark. When this man comes in like a flood, he's going to fall in the snares that he have laid. He's trying to enslave the world. He's going to be enslaved. That's right. Come on. Verse 11. Yes. And, be, and, be, and I beheld another beast coming out of the earth. Read that again. And I beheld another beast coming out of up out of the earth hold that what's the title of the article the club of rome the what the club, club of rome. rome read that again and i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth so these are the same niggas from the ancient roman empire that's right calling themselves the the illuminati the enlightened ones mm -hmm. now you can see how the bible connects to modern times come on and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. So they come across speaking kindly with a two-party system. In the ancient Rome, you had the uh, plebeians and the patricians. Now you got Democratic and Republican. And globally, you have the capitalists in the West and you have the communists in the East. They're using a two-party divide and conquer system where it appears that we have a say-so or a voice. So they come off speaking kindly like a lamb come on verse 12 yes and he exercises all the power of the first beast beautiful before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed see that so the club of rome the vatican church is a part of this beast system which is the false prophet so how is he going to get us to worship him and he doeth great wonders. There it is. So that he make a fire come down from heaven yep. on the earth in the sight of men. Their fire power, their naval and sea power. Who can make war with the beasts? And they got a combined coalition of nations under them, under the UN flag or the United Nations, under the EU and NATO. Come on. And he deceiveth them mm -hmm. that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles Did not this brother just read that in second thessalonians chapter 2 right. and deceive them that believe not with lying signs and wonders eve is seduced by this man because he's in power he can administer administer massive military power in any part of the world within 96 hours he can subdue the sons of jacob but the most high gave him that power That's right. he did not do this on his own come on which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, yep. saying to them that dwell on the earth, yes. that they should make an image of, to the beast, 
which had the wound by a sword and did live. So the system that we're under today is modeled after the ancient Roman Empire, where you got serfs, princes, you have emperors or kings of the earth called presidents. Come on. Okay, verse uh, 15. And he, stop it, cause it's all. Come. And he, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, yep. that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So he's speaking through his policies, his unrighteous decrees, through draconian law, which goes back to ancient uh, Greece, Athens, Draco, that was putting people to death that would not bow down to his ways or his decrees. Come on. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, yep. to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Beautiful. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M-A-R-K or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So when we go into that word mark, it comes from the Greek karagma or harikma, which means an incision and inscribing or stamp or print. It's not talking about shaking a hand and making an oath by shaking a hand. The purple people you just talking about, if I shake your hand and you shake my hand, then we've been marked. No, that's off. Now we're gonna go to the Club of Rome article. Title once more, the Club of Rome. How climate hysteria is being used to create global governance by Tyler Durden. In the early 1970s, the US and much of the Western world was shifting into a stagflationary economic crisis. Nixon removed the dollar completely from the gold standard in 1971 mm -hmm. with the aid of the Federal Reserve or perhaps under the direction of the Fed, mm -hmm. which ultimately escalated inflation pressures. Europe's post-war boom came to an abrupt end while prices on goods and oil gasoline in the U.S. skyrocketed up until 1981 through 1982. When the Federal Reserve jacked interest rates up to around 20% and created a deliberate recessionary crash. So these are man-made orchestrated events that are pre-planned. When you look up that quote by President Franklin, Clinton Delano Roosevelt, he said what? In politics, nothing happens by accident. Nothing. Come on. Interestingly, the IMF had created the SDR system in 1969, yep. just before the gold standard was cut. Hmm. The same SDR which the IMF is posed to use as the foundation of a global digital currency mechanism. Read that again. Once more, interestingly, the IMF had created the SDR system in 1969. Just before the gold standard was cut, the same SDR which the IMF is posed to use as the foundation of a global digital currency mechanism. Did not this brother read? He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a karagma. So they're setting the stage in order to enslave the world through digitization. There is no tribulation without digitization. Bring it out. Uh, this is the book of 1 Maccabees chapter 8, starting off at verse 15. Mm -hmm. Moreover, how they had made for themselves a senate house yep. wherein 320 men sat in council daily. Mm -hmm consulting always for the people to the end that they might be well ordered and that they it's like and that they committed their government to one man every year who ruled over all their country and that all were obedient to that one just like it were all that were obedient to that one and that there was it's like that there was neither envy nor emulation among them so america built a system under after the roman empire where you elect a president, which is really, your vote doesn't count. Right. They're using electoral votes. These are hand-picked people that's 
going to choose the man that the global elite want in there. Okay? So this system that's fallen under one man goes back to the ancient Greco-Roman Empire. The, the Senate House, the Congressional Committee, or the Congress and the Senate, the two houses, and electing one man, which is called a president today. So it's modeled after the beast of Rome. The water, my lot. You know. It's in the pipe. It's great. Can you read that again about that, the Senate and that one man? Con, uh, verse Maccabees 8, verse 15. Moreover, how they had made for themselves a Senate house Beautiful. wherein 320 men sat in council mm -hmm. daily, mm -hmm. consulting always for the people to the end they, to the end they might be well ordered. Beautiful. And that they committed their government to one man every year mm. who ruled over all their country yep. and that all were obedient to that one that there was neither envy nor emulation among them and there's a reason that the united states leader is called a president america is a corporation that's right that plugs into the global enterprise mm -hmm. under the nwo this brother's reading about the imf the international monetary fund mm -hmm. so we're paying tribute to rome we're tributaries under the beast come on once more interestingly the imf had created the sdr system in 1969 mm. just before the gold standard was cut the same sdr which the imf is posed to use as the foundation of a global digital currency mechanism mm. and the world economic forum was funded in 1971. wow the time period is often depicted in films as a happy-go-lucky era of disco, mm -hmm. drugs, hippies, and rock and roll. But the reality is that the early 1970s was the beginning of the end for the West. So they demoralized the American structure, the hippie movement, legalizing drugs, free sex. So what they did was they created a system of corruption and distraction when you get demoralized then what it does is it takes your eyes off the prize on what's happening economically and politically that's right that's why they demoralized the american establishment and nixon was used as a puppet to switch the gold standard to the petrodollar in 1971. it was it was the moment that our economic foundations were sabotaged mm. and the affluence of the middle class was slowly but surely stolen by inflation. Wow. In the midst of the economic malaise, which Jimmy Carter later referred to as a crisis of confidence, the United Nations and associated globalist roundtable groups were hard at work developing a scheme to convince the population to embrace global centralization of power. Mm, see that? This is the new world order being established, built from the ground up. So they're putting the building blocks, the pieces together, and the mortar, this doctrine they're using, that there is no more sovereign territories. There is no more nationality. We're just one people. But yet the Edomites are at the top, telling us that we're gonna own nothing and be happy. Clown swab is the devil that the Bible speaks of. You got something hot? Yes, sir. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter 1. I'm going to start off at verse 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed to the commandment of the king. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrifice unto idols and profane the Sabbath. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. See that? The strange laws of the land. See? So these strange laws of the land is following after the Greco Roman image, their system man on man, woman on woman. Now, a child at three years old can consent to intercourse. So we're under devils. We're under a pedo 
pedophile political agenda that's following the Babylonian Talmud that authorizes a grown ass man to lay down with a three year old child. So these people are savage. They're not fit to be rulers in the land. They're not fit to be judges. Con, like you said, Raj, um, they also put the pedos with the uh, alphabet community. Yep. So there, there's no jail time for that now. Man, this man is, <laughs> man, oh man. Yeah. What does the law say about that? No jail time at all? Nothing, man. They, they basically said that, uh, that the child, like you said, three years old, can consent to have uh, a relations with a grown ass man. Oh, now it's like a, a sexual preference, like adding to that, you know, A, B, C, D, that alphabet suit uh, um, title. This man is the devil. And a lot of you are joined unto this man. So you're going to fall with him right into the pit of fire when these nuclear missiles hit. For sickness, wickedness. Go ahead, King. Their goals were rather direct. They wanted a rationale for governmental control of human population numbers. Mm -hmm. The power to limit industry. The power to control energy production and dictate energy sources. Mm. The power to control or limit food production and agriculture. So this is why we've had over 200 food processing plants burned to the ground. This is why they're monopolizing the privatized business industry. Right now, Vanguard and BlackRock are the two major corporate giants that have created a monopoly over resources, industry. This is why Amazon Prime is sucking up all of the merchandise and commerce and marketing. So all of the small businesses are being put out of order to fall under the corporate giants, the global elite. Read that again about these key bullets from the top. Once more, they won it. A rationale for governmental control of human population numbers. Beautiful. The power to limit industry. Uh huh. The power to control energy production and dictate energy sources. Beautiful. The power to control or limit food production and agriculture. Mm -hmm. The ability to micromanage individuals' lives in the name of some latter defined greater good. So now they're using a carbon footprint or they're tracking how much you're traveling, how much you're leaving your 15 minute mile radius, how much meat you're buying and consuming, how much ammunition you're buying. So they have what's called a carbon footprint tracking system that they're trying to implement. Total control. Come on. Continue. Yes. They want it. A socialized society in which the individual right to property is abandoned. A social credit score system. When you speak out against the pedo politicians, your credit score gets lowered and your purchase power gets lowered. When you speak out against corruption and tyranny, your credit score gets lowered. Your purchase power lowered. You can't travel. You can't buy or sell. Read that again, Bubba Kasha. Once more, they wanted a socialized society in which the individual right to property is abandoned. Yep. A one world economic system which they would manage. See that? A digital currency is being pushed for. So they're going to get rid of the antiquated system of currency. Come on. A one world currency system? Yes. A one world government managing a handful of separate regions. Wow. One of the most revealing quotes on the agenda comes from Clinton administration Deputy Secretary of State, yep. Stroll Talbot, mm. who stated in Time Magazine that in the next century, nations as we know, know it will be obsolete. Did not Antiochus say this? We're one people, one nation but they're creating it in wickedness, worshiping idols, getting chit and digitally tagged and tracked. There's no more man and woman. We become transformers, united as a unisex, idolatrous, satanic race. They, he, and, they, he, and them. Yeah, they, he, and them. Esau, you're going down, devil. We're tired of you devils. You got some, uh, you got some
got something, King? Come yeah. on. Yeah, because if y'all don't notice, man, we stay warning you about what's to come. Everybody else is talking about what is sin. It's shit, right. like you said, shaking of the hand and all that. <laughs> so let's read this real quick, man. It's, it's just, the Lord man is on point, man. Bring it out. Uh, Con, this is Isaiah 56. I'm gonna start up at verse 9. All ye beasts of the field come to devour, yea. All ye beasts in the forest, his watchmen are blind. Okay, these other camps, man. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. Mm. They are all dumb dogs. Beautiful. They cannot bark, yes. sleeping. Lying down, mm -hmm. loving to slumber. Yes. Yay. They are greedy dogs, mm -hmm. which can never have enough. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his own gain from this from his quarter. So you got Israelite leaders causing us to error. They're under a 501c3 contract, like the purple people eaters. Get the bishop's name out of your mouth. To hell with you, nigga. We tired of you wicked Israelites. So the Lord is going to kill you, Jakes, that are in bed with this beast system. So you're teaching us that there is no sea hip. There is no mark. There is no new world order. This is all conspiracy theories. Well, damn it, the experts are calling it out. That's right. So what are you talking about? The experts are writing articles about it. So you camps are going off. Rise real quick, let's lock yep, you up. Like, you got I, it. like it says, um, they are all greedy dogs. Where did they get that spirit from? They got that from Esau. From Esau. Because yeah, he's really the big dog right now on the earth. That's right. So they're following after their father, the devil. He's a material man and an idolater, right. naturally. A lot of them got these million dollar contracts. So they're paid off. They're prostitutes. As long as the price is right. Then they put the man rod in his damn in their damn mouth. So you men are nothing, nothing. Come on, Psalms, chapter twelve, yes, verse twelve, and it reads to the chief musician upon Shimonith, a psalm of David. Yep. Help, Lord Yahweh, mm. for the godly man ceases, mm. for the faithful fell from among the children of men. So it's hard to find a godly man. Most of our men are straight niggas and in bed with this damn devil. And two thirds of our women got this man's rod in their mouth too, along with you male prostitutes that are bowing down to this wicked system. Pedophilia, damn corporate interests. The politicians are in bed with the corporate giants. They don't care about the welfare of the people. They're paid off. So they're on the level of prostitutes. Why you think the daughter of Babylon is called the great whore? Because you got leaders that are bought and paid for. They have sold out. Our women have sold us out. You got something, King? This is Proverbs 3, verse 31, to back up what the Raja said. Yeah. Envy thou not the oppressor. Yes. And choose none of his ways. Come on. See that? So we're supposed to be separate, holy. Go from there to 2 Corinthians 6 and 16. Come Yep, 2 Corinthians 6 and 16, to be separate, holy. That's right. It's the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse uh, 16. And what agreement have the temple of the Most High with idols? Beautiful. For ye are the temple of the living power. Yes. As the Most High have said, I will dwell in them mm. and walk in them. Let's go. And I will be their power mm -hmm. and they shall be my people. Yes. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate. Beautiful. Say if Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Touch not the clean, uh, it's like a touch not the unclean thing, uh -huh. and I will receive you. So we're supposed to be holy, which means separate. That's right. So we're supposed to come out from this wicked place and be spiritually detached. And the Lord in the last day is going to say to his elect in the ancient Paleo Hebrew tongue, Come up hither. The chariots of the Lord are here. The Cadillacs of the skies. Let's go back to Psalms 12, Pope Psalms chapter 12, verse 2. Yes. And it reads, they speak vanity, everyone with his name. Mm. With flattering lips and with a double heart to do they speak. Beautiful. Verse 3. The Lord Yahweh shall cut off all flattering lips. Let's go. And the tongue that speaketh proud things. Mm. Who have said, with our tongue will we prevail? Mm. Our lips are our own, 
who is Lord over us? Who is Lord over us? Our lips shall prevail. So they don't fear the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. They fear mammon. They fear money. They fear wealth and resources. They fear the military. The forces of flesh are vain. They fear man-made devices. They don't fear the spiritual realm. The spiritual power is where the physical man gets his power and his ability to rule. They don't fear the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read that again about their lips shall prevail. Once more. Yes. Psalms chapter 12, verse 4. Beautiful. And it reads, Who have said, with our tongue, mm. will we prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? Mm. Verse 5. So that damn devil, you all know what Harari said. Now that we got weather manipulation technology, we don't have to fear the God of the Bible. Now that we have the ability to hack into the human system, we don't have to worry about God's judgments. So they are in your in his face, blaspheming his name and his power. Wow. Got it up. Verse 5. For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the need. Yep. Now will I rise, uh. say the Lord Yahweh. Let's go. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. So the Lord is going to set a hedge of protection around his sanctuary. His saints. Come on. The words of the Lord Yahweh are pure words. Yes. As silver tried in the furnace of earth. I love it. Purify seven times. Beautiful. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord Yahweh. Mm. Thou shalt preserve them from the generation forever. I know you saw that. So his word is in his elect. So he's not going to destroy a spiritual essence of himself because they're carrying the word, a reflection of the Heavenly Father. Pure words of the elect are being sanctified and purified by the pure doctrinal truth. Come on. Verse eight. Yes. And it reads, the wicked walk on every side. Say what? The wicked walk on every side. Let's go. When the ballast men are exalted. So these are base men over us. I love the pop young boys and the ads. That love to have man on man get married. Yet they'll say a man can't have multiple wives like the Bible says. These people are vile, wicked. Every day you see a drug commercial and then a fast food commercial make us sick and then drug us up and then another drug commercial drug us up and then another fast food commercial make us sick. They got the food and drug administration working together in tandem, killing us slowly and making merchandise of us. This is hell on earth. Come on, King, let's go. That's what said about the word, word of the Lord. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21. I'm going to read verse 15 in the Good News Translation. Because I will give you such words and wisdom that none of your enemies will be able to mm -hmm. refute or contradict what you say. Beautiful. What was that? Read that again. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 15 in the Good News Translation. Uh -huh. Because I will give you such words and wisdom mm. that none of your enemies will be able to refute or contradict that so like what what you say that's beautiful so who can challenge the ancient words that was passed down to the prophets the ancient men who can come against a book in which america was supposedly built upon so the word is a back is a two-edged sword so it's backfiring on them. I remember being in Iraq and an enemy man or combatant was trying to build an improvised, improvised explosive device and it exploded in his face. Woo! So the word is a fire, an explosion that's gonna backfire on you Edomites, the wicked. You picked up the word, a two-edged sword, and now it's gonna swing Back your direction. Come on. Back to the Club of Rome article. Let's go. One of the most revealing quotes on agenda 
comes from Clinton administration Deputy Secretary of State Stroh Talbot, who stated in Time Magazine that in the next century, nations as we know it will be obsolete. Mm. All states will recognize a single global authority. Mm. National sovereignty wasn't such a great idea after all. To understand how the agenda functions, I offer a quote from Globalist Council on Foreign Relations member Richard Gardner in an article in Foreign Affairs magazine in 1974 titled, wow. The Hard Road to World Order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Con. Back up with what was just read, man, because me and the Raj just basically said, man, uh, it's right in front of everybody's face, man. Yeah. And the Raj, he's proud, so let's pull out the precept. Uh, Habakkuk chapter two, verse five. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, mm -hmm. neither keepeth at home, you. who enlargeth his desire as hell, yeah. and is as death, yeah. and cannot be satisfied, mm. but gathereth unto him all nations, Beautiful. and heapeth unto him all people. So all these nations are being consolidated as one global nation. So what are they trying to do? They're trying to manufacture a new race, a altered race, so that they can claim ownership, a new patent on human mankind. Go ahead, you got it. Ryan, did you see the um the post? They, they they made a baby with three different people. That's an ass. Did you see that? No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did. I did. Three I did. different people. I saw that. See, so this devil trying to repatent the Lord's creation, so that he can claim ownership. That's why. He studies the word through his scholars that the promises is through the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Well, what if I can alter that seed so I can repatent and reclaim it? He saw you the devil that the Bible speaks of, right. but you're going to lose. That's right. Damn, I hate these devils. Damn, it's vexing, man. It is vexing. And Eve just sees his power and puts this man's rod right in her damn mouth. She ignores us, though and calls us bums, dirty, Dust. dusty, because we ain't got the right job. What happens when this economy co collapse? Then what? Salaki, like Raj, if I may real quick. Um, remember the, uh, the conversation about the uh, Jake, the, uh, the black man on the bus? With the, uh, the broad, uh, what's her name? Um, I saw that, but I can't remember the chick's name. Yeah, though. Uh, she basically said, I'll, I'll date him if he owns the bus. Yeah, I saw that. But I saw a video. Well, uh, uh, Israelite woman in the Jake, she gave, uh, uh, he was a bus driver, he didn't, he didn't own the bus. She gave him a number, and that was that was the love of her life. Unbelievable. She a video of it. See that? So you can't go by what a man make each year. So we ought to be evaluated based on where our spirit is, That's with right. the most high, right. and understanding his will. That's a high value man. That's right. That knows the will of the Heavenly Father. That's right. A lot of you women get ran through with niggas hookies and ray rays and then complain that you can't find a good man after you done been ran through who want to use 30 year old kia and pay full price you done lost your damn mind exactly the damn oil haven't been changed in 30 years a used condom and then want to complain a blown head gasket. <laughs> exactly. Back all beat out of shape. Vertebrae done been dislocated. And talking about I'm looking for a good man. <laughs> and and Salaki so too. Um, she got all, all them dudes that she didn't had, you know, relations with. She got all them dudes spirit on her, man. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so you ain't dealing with Raquisha. You're dealing with every dude she's been with, man. She has multiple personalities. Bro. Yep. Every time she comes in contact with a man's sperm, she's got that man's spirit on her. Right. So if she starts speaking with a deep voice while you're going into her, hey, look, you oh. asked for it, Jake. Oh, the hell? Oh. <laughs> like yeah, what the hell is this? A Barry White. Forever <laughs> Go deeper. Harder. <laughs> Harder, nigga. <laughs> Lay it down. The modern Western woman is finished. Finished. Man. Following the white man. That's why. Mm -hmm. You can equal to a man. You can play the field. You can get your womb polluted with pookies and ray rays and then look for a high value man. Bugged out of your damn mind. Thanks to following 
your friendly neighborhood white man, Esau. So, so like, yeah, I got one more example, Raj. Uh, like I said, the Kendra G show. Yeah. He uh, had yeah, this broad come on Kendra G show. Three children. The, the, the youngest was two years old. Three different baby daddies. Mm. And she basically was telling Kendra and, and everybody that's watching, you know, the men and stuff, that she wants to date a man that doesn't have multiple uh, baby mamas, can't have no young children, that her kids have to come before his kids uh -huh. and himself. Wow. And she was serious. Wow. That's the level of pride here in America. Exactly. I'm proud to be an American. Pompous, arrogant, unreasonable, unbelievable. You got it, King. In short, the House of World Order mm. will have to be built from the bottom up rather than from the top down. Wow. It will look like a great boom and buzz and confusion to use William James' famous description of reality, mm -hmm. but an end run around national sovereignty, eroding it piece by piece, will accomplish much more than the old fashioned frontal assault. Did you see that eroding national sovereignty? Why do you think they're flooding the nation of unwalled villages with foreign nationals, immigrants? They're trying to erode the concept of national sovereignty. Over 90,000 Afghan nationals. You got over 100,000 Chinese nationals just across the border. You got over a half a million of land or acres, half a million of acres of U.S. land owned by Moab, China. So this was a global program and agenda. Come on. In other words, the globalists knew that incrementalism would be the only way to achieve a one world power structure that openly governs rather than hiding the rule of elitists behind clandestine organizations and puppet politicians. They're using the concept of gradualism. And the author here used the word incrementalism. So this is gradualism that they're the serpent seed. So a serpent gradually squeezes the life out of you. Resources, food, order, and usurps the authority from the man. They emasculate the man and they make the women very aggressive and dominant, domineering, and ran through. So they're eroding the concept of national sovereignty. Read that again, Bobby Kachak. In other words, the globalists knew that incrementalism would be the only way to achieve a one world power structure that openly governs rather than hiding the rule of the elitists behind clandestine organizations and puppet politicians. That's beautiful. They want a global empire yep. in which they become the anointed. Wow. Philosopher kings described in Plato's people, Republic. People. Their narcissistic egos cannot help but crave the adoration of the masses they secretly hate. They secretly hate us. They pay our women welfare. And they tell you that is a display of love. But you can't have your men in the house. They give our women government housing. And they say the prerequisite is your man is not welcome into that home. They tell you you're going to get child support. You're going to get government stipends. But get the man away. But little did you know that your power is through your man. That's right. And a man of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. They didn't tell you that. That we are the sons of the living God. Yasharala. Come on. But even with incrementalism, they knew eventually the public will figure out the plan and seek to resist our freedoms are are so like, are eroded so that they know the population is going to rise up against them the bible says that the plowman shall overtake the reaper they know this so they're using gradualism secretly trying to enslave the citizens come on establishing an empire is one thing, yep. keeping it is another. So they've studied the rise and fall 
of empires, the Assyrian Empire, the Babylonians, the Medo-Persians, the Greeks, the Romans. So they're trying to prevent the natural course of the rise and fall of empires. You got some king? Yes, I do. Uh, this is the book of Psalms 64. I'm going to start off at verse 1. Hear my voice, O Yahweh, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Beautiful. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity uh -huh. who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Yeah. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. Beautiful. They commune of lying, of lying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? Mm -hmm. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of the ops, like it, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. So creating a web of intricate policies to ensnare and enslave the populace. This is what this man does. He works overtime to create chaos, fear, massive panic, confusion, destruction of our resources and the infrastructure. Over 200 food processing facilities. The water is being contaminated by the chemical plant explosions, which is planned demolition. So this man is the devil working evil upon his beds day in and day out. Come on. How could a globalist come out of their authoritarian closet? Mm. Eliminate individual freedoms. Wow. And rule the world without a rebellion that ultimately destroys them. See that? So they're trying to avoid Bible prophecy. The plowman shall overtake the reaper. The international bankers, they reaping the benefits of gold, silver, the high level life, the high quality good life. 100 year old bourbon and whiskey. They got the islands to themselves where they run child pedo rings or pedophilia rings. This man is living the good life. He's got the fatness of the earth. Come on. The only way such a plan will work is if the people, the peasants in this empire embrace their own slavery. So the peasants must buy in and must believe which goes into uh, creed to believe in this man's system, credo. So these are decrees, <clears throat> but he needs buy-in. He needs buy-in from the citizens. So you must believe he is God. So in your money, it says in God we trust, but the man behind the money is Esau. His image is on the money model after ancient Rome so that in God we trust goes back to creed or credo which is believe <laughs> so you're believing on his system buy in Come on. once more the only way such a plan will work is if the people the peasants in this empire the peasant, peasants peasants the peasants in this empire embrace their own slavery beautiful the public will have to be made to view slavery as a matter of solemn duty and survival. <coughs> Not just for themselves, but for their entire species. That's why the Bible says, it causeth all, small and great, to receive a mark. So this is being enticed, encouraged, to believe that this is the way to survive. That this is living. When in reality, this ain't living. So we have to comply with being a slave. Ultimate compliance. Come on. That way, if anyone rebels, they will be seen as a monster by the high. I mean, that's happening right now. Us coming out here teaching. We're, pe we're preaching hate. We're demonic. We just hate everybody. But they're not listening to the words of what we're teaching. So they're demonizing those of an upright conversation. But those that are pushing a global agenda is being accepted or teaching global peace and harmony, coming together as one. 
So they switch the flip or flip the, the uh, script. Come on. They will be placing the whole collective in danger by defying the power structure. See that? So we're going against the grave by believing on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, believing on his word and trusting in him and not in God. We trust on the money and the system. You got something, King? God, it's the book of Jeremiah 35, verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, Beautiful. rising up early and sending them, saying, return ye now every man from his evil way mm -hmm. and amend your doings and go not after other gods to serve them and ye shall dwell in the land which i have given to you and to your fathers but ye have not inclined your ear nor hearken on to me let's go from there to job 38 34 and 18. God, this is the book of job chapter 34 verse 18. yep is it fit to say to a king thou art wicked mm -hmm. and to princes Ye are ungodly. How much less to him that accepteth not the persons of princes, nor regardeth the rich more than the poor? For they all are the work of his hands. Beautiful. In a moment shall they die, and the people shall be troubled at midnight and pass away, and the, and the mighty shall be taken away without hand. So this man is going to fall in one hour, That's right. one day. So why not fear the source? of power that put him in this position come on verse 21 for the eyes are upon so like it for his his eyes are upon the ways of man beautiful. and he seeth all his goings yep. there is no darkness nor, what there is no darkness beautiful nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves beautiful so these are the shadow government they work evil upon their beds in darkness they work their sinister plans. The Trilateral Commission, the World Economic Forum, the Global or the Club of Rome. Read that uh, verse 23, Book of Shaka. Come, for he, sh for he will not lay upon man more than right, that he should enter into judgment without the most lucky, with the most high. He shall break in pieces mighty men Beautiful. without number mm. and set others in their steed. Yeah. Therefore, he knoweth their works and he overturneth them in the night Beautiful. so that they are destroyed so they're going to fall by this third world war armageddon by these nuclear missiles so they're going to be taken in the night come on god he striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others beautiful because they turn back from him mm -hmm. and would not consider any of his ways let's go no, let's read that last one about what they do to the poor come verse 28 so that they cause the poor so like so that they cause the cry of the poor to come on to him and he heareth the cry of the afflicted so the poor is crying out in agony and pain mourning zion is in great mourning which really is the elect because the two-thirds they don't care they just want to get their check and go home at the end of the day they're compliant slaves happy slaves but the elect are mourning we are chased in the spirit come on thus the globalists win not just for today they went forever because there would no longer be anyone left to oppose them. See that? Beautiful. Keep going. We got a big taste of this brand of psychological warfare during the pandemic scale. Uh -huh. In which all of us were told that a virus with a tiny infection fatality rate of 0.223% was enough to erase a majority of our human rights fear tactics creating mass panic creates is a mechanism of mind control these planned pandemics planned catastrophes it moves masses come on luckily a large enough group of people stood up and fought back against the mandates and passports beautiful that said there is a much larger greater good agenda at play 
that the globalists plan to exploit, namely the so-called climate crisis. See that? So they're creating these mental, psychological operations like climate crises. So they have to create the chaos in order to bring the solution. These are all divisive technic techniques and tactics. To be clear, there is zero evidence of a climate crisis wow. caused by man-made carbon <laughs> emissions or greenhouse gas emissions. They do. You know what I said, they own tongue to fall upon themselves. <laughs> These devils are something else, man. I don't believe a thing the devil says. Nothing. Once more. We're going to read them again after he gets uh, get this one. Let me get, I got a joke uh, of Psalms. Uh, Psalm 64, yeah, their yeah, own 64, yeah. tongue called, yeah, all upon themselves. God, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Beautiful. So they tell on each other. Hey, listen, Esau is divided against Esau. They hate each other, which is a telltale sign of the curses falling upon them. In Deuteronomy 28, thine eye shall be evil towards thy brother. And their own women is not going to mourn their demise. That's in the scriptures, that the widows shall not weep for them. They're tired of these niggas too. And so are we. You got a king. Let's go back to that. No evidence of this damn climate crisis. Once more, to be clear, there is zero evidence of climate crisis caused by man-made carbon emissions or greenhouse gas emissions. Wow. There are no weather events that are out of the ordinary in terms of Earth's historic climate timeline. Mm -hmm. There is no evidence to support tipping point theories on temperatures and the Earth's temps have risen less than one Celsius in 100 years. Wow. The official temperature record only goes back to the 1880s. Mm -hmm. And this narrow timeline is what the UN and government funded climate scientists use as a reference point for their claims. Wow. Their own science don't back up their lies. So they must use mental manipulation not backed by facts. So they are physicians of no value. They use deception, chaos, misdirection. When you come out of the scriptures, they'll bring up a straw man argument, which leads to nothing. So we know how the devil operate. We know how he maneuvers. You got some king. Come on. I explain. While this is a fraudulent science in my article, the gas stove scare is a fraud created by climate change authoritarians. Wow. The point is, the UN has been promoting hysteria over a fake doomsday climate scenario, just like the WEF and the WHO promoted hysteria and fear over a non-threat like COVID. Oh yeah, yeah. Gender. yeah, remember the uh, serpent's piss scare. Yeah. So they had to create this massive panic and fear. And a lot of our women jumped right on it. What about the kids? You don't love us. Do you really care about your family? I had to hear that bullshit. And I kept saying, this man is a lying devil. Don't believe him. Come on, King. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 22. Yep. Lying lips or abomination to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh wow. Shah, but they that deal truly are his delight. That so the prophets are dealing truly. The men of the Lord are dealing in truth, sincerity, and making our bodies a living sacrifice. Those are the ones you should trust, right. not those that are under 501c3 contract, or those that are in bed with this beast system the depopulation agenda, the erosion of national sovereignty, that we're all one under this satanic system. 
That's who you don't trust. Come on, King. I read that again about that planned agenda. The point is, the UN has been promoting hysteria over a fake doomsday climate scenario. Yep. Just like the WEF and the WHO promoted hysteria and fear over a non threat like the code. Right. And it all began back in the early 1970s with a group tied to the UN called the Club of Rome. Yep. The globalists have been scheming to use. Mm -hmm. The globalists have been scheming to use environmentalism as an excuse for centralization since at least 1972 when the Club of Rome published a treaty's title the limits of growth see most of the world most of the world because you don't understand the scriptures you don't know this is a war against the bloodline of jacob the israelites that's why they're poisoning us and trying to make us one people under a idolatrous system so this is the nebuchadnezzar replay to bow down to a system that's idolatrous that embraces witchcraft that embraces abominations like these sexisms one of the things when you when you study uh witchcraft satanism idolatry and all that you have to set the conditions of immorality in order to connect with these demonic entities so you need homosexuality witchcraft you need aggressive manly women you need men that are effeminate so you got to create a condition in order to make connections with demonic entities through demoralization so you're creating a satanic system because they worship multiple gods or demonic entities ancient spirits but they can't come out and tell you this they'll just say well you have freedom of religion but they won't tell you that they're worshiping ancient demonic gods that's ephesians 6 we wrestle not against flesh and blood exactly pagan holidays christmas thanksgiving halloween feminism women's liberation you see oh abortion these are sacrifices to Molech. So they got to create the recipe, stir the pot, in order to make connection with demonic spirits. The gods of the nations are idols. These are demons. So when you look up the word demon, it goes back to intellectual being. That's who the elite worship, gods, demons. You want to get that in Ephesians 6? Right here, this is the book of Ephesians chapter 6. I'm going to start off at verse 10. Beautiful. Finally, my brethren, be strong in Yahweh, why Yahweh shine, yep. and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, Beautiful. that ye may be able to stand the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, Beautiful. against powers, and against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore? Take on to you the whole armor of the Most High, yeah. that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have done all to stand. Stand therefore, have your loins grit about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So we got to gird up our loins, our minds, spiritually, right. with the will of the Heavenly Father. So the Word is a protective armor a sword and shield and a helmet of salvation. So we're battling high level demons that the global elite worship. Why do you think they engage in blood sacrifice, child sacrifice? Matter of fact, pedophilia helps connect to certain demons. I've studied, um, what's that devil name? They call him the, uh, the beast. What's that devil name? Oh uh, man, his mother named him the Beast. Wow. Um, it'll come back to me. Somebody put it on the comment book. Go ahead. I'll... 
but just engaging in, in child pedophilia, what it does is it helps to bring about certain demonic spirits. There's certain abominations you do, like orgies, helps to conjure up demonic spirits. Funding a limited study of industry and resources in a joint project yeah, Crowley. with MIT, the findings appear to be scripted well ahead of time. See that scripted well ahead of time. And by the way, Crowley, but I need his full name for the audience. So they're scripting these planned events. Yeah, Alistair Crowley, that's the name. Alistair Crowley. So when I was in uh, college years ago, I've studied what he was doing in black magic and witchcraft. So when you penetrate a child's backside, it taps into certain ancient Egyptian gods or spirits. This man was in high level witchcraft. So they worshiped this man, the global elites. Alistair Crowley was into black magic and witchcraft. Sodomy helps to conjure up spirits. Damn devils. Come on, King. Read that again about these scripts. Funded a limited study of industry and resources in a joint project mm -hmm. with MIT. The findings appear to be scripted well ahead of time. Wow. The end of the planet was nigh unless nations and individuals sacrificed their sovereignty. See that? So we got to give up national or nationalities. Why you think they taught we're all one people? So they're deviating from the division and order that the Most High set in place. Luke 12 and 51, Bokasha. Luke 12 and 51. There's the book of Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather the vision. But rather what? But rather the division beautiful for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided three against two and two against three the father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law so the lord is separating his chosen from the rest of the world reprobate so he's carving out his holy saints, the elect. So he's separating us, starting with the word. And he's going to further do that upon his return. Uh, if you don't mind, Matthew 25. And let's go to verse 30. There's the book of St. Matthew, chapter 25, yep. verse 30. And it reads this. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into utter darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats see that so the sheep are the elect right. of israel that are going to be severed out or separated from the rebels and the wicked. These goats start with Edomites, followed by the other rebels that are in bed with them. Come on, King. How convenient for the globalist bankrolling the study. 20 years later, they would publish a book titled The First Global Revolution. Wow. In that document, they specifically discuss using global warming as a vehicle to form supranational governments. Wow. And searching for a common enemy against whom we can unite. We came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, water shortages, famine, and the like would fit the bill. In their totality, in their interactions, these phenomena do constitute a common threat which must be confronted by everyone together. So you see where this is going. They're going to blame overpopulation, worthless eaters. So they got to cull the herd that we're 
exhausting resources, food, water, but they're creating demolition. They're creating the chemical factory plant explosions. They're contaminating the food, air, and water supply. Come on. But in designating these dangers as the enemy, we fall into the trap, which we have already warned readers about, namely mistaken symptoms for causes. All these dangers are caused by humor inter human intervention and in natural processes. And it is only through change attitudes and behavior that they can be overcome. The real enemy then is humanity itself. Read that again. The real enemy is humanity itself. So these devils are against life. We are pro-life. So they're blaming the Lord's creation that we are the threat. We're the enemy. They want to preserve 500 million slaves. That was on the uh, Georgia Guidestones that they created a controlled demolition and destroyed it in Georgia. You see that? So the enemy are the citizens of uh, these globalists, but they studied the prophecies that the earth shall rise up against him. You got some king crying. It's the book of Revelation yeah. chapter six, yeah. verse eight. And I looked and beheld a pale horse, Woo. and his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed with him, uh -huh. and power was given unto them. And what? And power was given unto them uh -huh. over the fourth part of the earth mm. to kill with the sword, mm. and with hunger, and with death, mm. and with the beasts of the earth. So this man, he creates death scenarios. He creates depopulation agendas, sickness, pain, sorrow. Why you think every day we're bombarded? fast food and drug commercials, pharmaceuticals. So they're in bed with each other. The Food and Drug Administration. Why do you think the men are emasculated and the heads or the leaders are taken away from the homes? Why do you think there's always a war brewing up to depopulate the earth where our young boys or our young men are sent off to die? Why do you think we had a plan catastrophe over the last two and a half years where they mandated the serpent's piss. Why do you think so? Where over 1.1 million died suddenly. They even put an article out, died suddenly. So this man is pro-death. We are pro-life. This man has given the power to take peace from the earth. Come on, King. By making Humanity's very existence, the great threat. Mm. The globalists Man. intended to unify the public around the idea of keeping themselves in check. Wow. That is to say, the public will have to sacrifice their freedoms and submit to control in their belief that the human species is too dangerous and to be allowed liberty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta read that again. Uh, Once more, <laughs> by making humanity's very existence the great threat, the globalists intended to unify the public around the idea of keeping themselves in check. That is to say, the public will have to sacrifice their freedom and submit to control in the belief that the human species is too dangerous to be allowed liberty. This is why they're ushering in the Mott B, the Mark, or the C hip, to control the population. Got some? Come, come. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 8, verse 16. Strive not with an angry man, mm. and go not with him into a solitary place, for blood is as nothing in his sight wow. and where there is no help he will overthrow thee mm. blood is nothing to this man the bible says since thou hast not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee so he's going to fall prey to his own devices his own tactics and snares the bible says prepare slaughter for his children 
for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities, to all the death and sickness and pain and child unalives, you're going to fall prey to 63.7 babies unalive and the so-called black woman constitutes 40%, but her numbers are only 13%. 19 million black babies murdered by Eve. Over 19 million. The following news special from the Australian Public Broadcasting Service was aired in 1973, not long after the Club of Rome was founded. It is surprisingly blunt about the purposes of the organization. What can we derive from this broadcast and its message? The globalists want two specific outcomes most of all. They want the end of national sovereignty and the end of private property through socially insensitivized minimalism. The exact same objectives of Club of Rome outlined in the 1970s are the driving policies of the UN and the World Economic Forum today. The sharing economy, concepts that Claude Schlob and the WF often proudly promotes was not thought up by them. It was thought up by the Club of Rome 50 years ago. Yep, you were just whispering that to me. They've been planning this thing for a long time. So Nixon was just used as a puppet when he switched to the petrodollar standard and the gold was was confiscated. He's only a puppet. There's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 24. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world, and they that do hold of his seat, so like, and they that do hold of his side do find it. So the death comes from that man of sin, the son of perdition. He is the evil one. Come on. Two. Yeah, keep going. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you, you hit it. It's locked up. And you got it. Okay. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. They spend half a century inventing a crisis. Look at that. See that? You know what I said in the um, um, Proverbs 4 and 12. Yeah, this man is the devil. But see, our women see him as a power authority, as a leader figure, because he holds the power. But they're deceived. A woman is the weaker vessel. She's just saying, show me the money. I don't give a damn how wicked he is. Why do you think they go after the bad boys and get ran through by Pookie and Ray Ray? They're just looking at his reputation, his power. His bling bling, his Cadillac with spinners and rims, straight niggas. This is why the Lord raised up men. We're sick of this damn place. Let's get that, brother. Robert. Yeah, exactly. But we're going to start. Yeah, that's good. Verse 13. God. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, starting off with verse 13. God. Take fast hold of instruction. Beautiful. Let her not go. Keep her, mm. for she is thy life. Sophia, wisdom, come on. Enter not into the path of the wicked, uh -huh. and go not into the way of evil men. Beautiful. Avoid it, pass not by it, uh -huh. turn from it, yep. and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. Read that again, Wubakasha. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. So they were planning this thing over a half a century prior to execution. So they conduct a deep search. These devils are working evil generations ahead, several decades ahead. He is created to be the wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And if you love this animal, you're going to die with this devil. That's right. Come on, King. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Let's go. 
They spend half a century inventing a crisis, Damn. drum up public terror, <clears throat> and then offer the very solutions they wanted to enforce decades ago. Order out of chaos. Come on. In the end, the climate agenda has nothing to do with environmentalism and everything to do with economics. Wow. The plan began in the midst of a very real stagflationary crisis a moment when the middle class populace was most afraid for the future and prices were rising rapidly. So they want to take out the middle class and they want to create a system of peasants or serfs and rulers, the aristocracy. Come on. This crisis was not caused by the scarcity of resources. It was caused by the mismanagement of the financial system. So this is a deliberate planned economic collapse in order to usher in the new central bank digital currency. How can you not see this devil? You are the camps out there and the see hip He calls it all. So he's doing that through economic channels. Come on. It's not a coincidence that the culmination of the global warming scheme is taking place today just as another stagflation disaster is upon us. Read that again, Bubba Once more. It's not a coincidence that the culmination of the global warming scheme is taking place today just as another stagflation disaster is upon us. Come on. The Club of Rome is now in a shell of its former glory filled with silly hippies. <laughs> Most likely because the UN and other globalist think tanks have taken on the role of the group used to play. Wow. However, the shadow of the original club is ever present and its strategy of climate fear mongering is being welded right now to justify increasing government suppression of energy and agriculture. Wow. If they are not stopped by the public, mm. totalitarian carbon mandates will become the norm. They are talked about these carbon foot tracking or footprint tracking, carbon mandates. So this man want to track how much air we breathe, how far we travel, how much fuel we're consuming, how much meat we're consuming. He wants total control, carbon footprint monitoring. I mean, come on now. Read that again, Bubba Kasha. Once more. Damn. If they are not stopped by the public, totalitarian carbon mandates will become the norm. The next generation living in engineered poverty will be taught from early childhood that the globalists saved the world from a calamity that never really exists. Wow. You know what, that other devil, what was his name? said that we're going to eventually worship the universal aspirations of Lucifer, Albert, Albert Pike, Albert Pike. So they're going to create World War III. So much pain and suffering, hunger, disease, that we're going to be begging to worship Lucifer or Esau, the global elite, the international bankers, to bring order out of chaos and to get digitally Stamp, tagged, and tracked to worship the universal uh, flowing energies of Lucifer, a 33rd degree Mason, Albert Pike, a Luciferian, said that. Read that again, Boca Shah. Once more, and it reads The next generation living in engineered poverty will be taught from early childhood that the globalists saved the world from the calamity that never really existed. Wow. They will be told that the enslavement of humanity is something to be proud of. Wow. A gift that keeps the species alive. Damn. And anyone who questions that slavery is a selfish villain <laughs> that wants the destruction of the planet. That's <laughs> <laughs> so terrible. Man. Yeah, this animal got to go. Me off, man. Take me. <laughs> Lock it for me, Woo, Raj, real quick. Please. Man, uh, Hebrew, I mean, it's like uh, Proverbs 15, just to literally back what this prophet just read, man. 
Proverbs 15, verse 27. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his, troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. Wow. That's us, man. He's always greedy of all types of gain, man. As, as you just said, you want to calculate how much air we got to breathe to live? Damn. And, and if you question your slavery, you're, man, come on, man. This, this is crazy. Man. This man is something else. He wants all power. He wants total control. So he's studied the rise and fall of empires. Empires. Say again. Oh, you read all of it? No, that was it. Yeah, I guess we can read that last paragraph. So this man has scholars that studies the fall patterns and the trends. So what he's trying to do is implement control measures to stop the fall at different breaking points of the natural fall and rise and flow or the ebb and flow of empires, just like the waves crashing. He believes he can control the flow of that crash or prevent the destruction and downfall. That's Psalms 49 and 11. Let me get that. Psalms 49 and 11. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 49, verse 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever yep. and their dwelling places to all generations. Beautiful. They call their lands after their own names. Beautiful. See that? So they're trying to prolong hell on earth under the reign of the wicked, pursuant to Job 9 and 24. You got a number on yeah, the I got a precept to back up what you're saying because like you said, they're trying to, uh, to stop the uh, the prophecy from happening. So what that means, they're trying to go against the Lord. They're trying to contend with the Lord, right? Okay. So let's read this real quick. Job chapter 9. I'm going to start off at verse 2. I know it is so of a truth, but how should man be just with the Most High? If he will contend with them, he cannot answer him one of a thousand. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Yeah. So like he's wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who have hardened himself against him? and have prospered. See that? So this man actually manipulates society. Why you think he studies sociology, psychiatry, psychology, the study of human thought, thought processes, human migration peer uh, processes. You see social interaction, social integration, bringing different cultures together. So he studies sociology, the study of society. He studies psychology, the study of the psyche, the mind. Why you think the Bible says that they conduct a deep search? This man is the devil on multiple levels. And you women, stop trusting this nigga. Stop trusting him because he's wielding power. What happens to the biggest, baddest drug dealer on the block? He falls, he dies. So stop following this abusive nigga. You got something, King? Okay, once more. If they are not stopped by the public, totalitarian carbon mandates will become the norm. The next generation living in engineered poverty will be taught from early childhood that the globalists saved the world from a calamity that never really existed. Wow. They will be told that the enslavement of humanity is something to be proud of, Damn. a gift that keeps the species alive. <laughs> and anyone who questions that slavery <laughs> is a selfish villain wow. that wants the destruction of the planet. Yes, yeah, so we're selfish for promoting salvation for Israel. We're selfish for teaching that the Edomites are going into slavery. We're selfish for teaching the tabernacle of David, the male patriarchal kings are being raised up and reestablished. We're selfish for teaching Israel first. We're selfish for teaching about the Lord's chosen elect, his anointed. We're selfish for teaching that there is no God other than Yahweh, Hashem, 
Yahabashai. We're selfish. We're teaching that the global elite, they're going into slavery. That's right. The international bankers. That's right. But it is the truth. This man is crazy as hell. Let's lock your eyes. Got it. Quick. Joy of the hypocrites is but for a moment, as the scriptures state to say. So it's, it's okay when Esau, Edom say he could put everybody in slavery. But when we when we say it through the, through the Bible, our book, God. We, we wicked, we all, oh. we're, we're unrighteous. Wow. Where's the love? God. But yet when they said, it's all right, get in line, nigga. Yeah. But we're teaching hate. Wow. Man. <laughs> Psalms, chapter 10. Verse 10, and it reads. Psalms chapter 10, verse 1, and it reads. Why standest thou afar? Salak. Once more. Psalms chapter 10, verse 1, and it reads. Why standest thou afar of, O Lord, your house? Once more, why standest thou afar off, uh -huh. O Lord Yahweh? Yeah. Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? Uh -huh. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Uh -huh. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Woo! So these devices are snares to enslave the population. So they're going to become a victim of their own processes. You see that? Read that again, Book of Joshua. Once more, verse two, and it reads, the wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Beautiful. For the wicked boasteth in his heart's desire and blesseth the covets whom the Lord Yahweh abhorreth. Remember, Noah, Noah, you all, Noah Harari, we don't have to fear the God of the Bible because now we have the power in our hands. Come on. Verse 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. Yep. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, Man. for I shall never be in adversity. Mm. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Mm -hmm. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places do he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set amongst the poor. He lieth and wait secretly as a lion in his den, he live and wait to catch the poor. He do catch the poor when he drove him into his net. So he's privately working around the clock to afflict the poor, the downtrodden, the afflicted, the oppressed. So he's working diligently to create a entire system of oppression and trying to extend the system, on a demonic system of oppression. So he's trying to take it a step further through a technocracy, digitization. There's CCTVs, cameras on every block. There's satellite imagery watching overhead. The phones are listening devices. The iPhone is a spy device the smart TVs. So they're privately, read that again about them, watching the poor privately. Psalm chapter 10, verse eight, once more, and it reads, he sitteth in lurking places of the villages. In his secret places do he murder the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He do catch the poor 
when he drove him into his net, he crouched and humbled himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. See that? This dude is, is nonstop. So I was talking about the gadgets and listening devices that he made it attractive, like the iPhone, the smart TV. We got CCTVs on every street. We got these um, cameras that scan your license plate. So we're not free. So now he wants to put this digital device subthermally underneath our skin. Subdermally. You see that? We even got the smart listening devices like Sirius or Sirius in our homes. So everything is used in the under the guise of convenience. But it's all spyware all digitally spyware. Come on. Psalms chapter 10, verse 11. God. And it reads, He have said in his heart, God had forgotten. Wow. He hid of his face. He would never see it. Mm. Arise, O Lord Yahweh, our power. Lift up thy hand. Forget not the humble. Beautiful. Wherefore do the wicked contemn God? He have said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. The Lord is going to lift up a standard against this devil. He's saying that the Most High does not see, but the Lord is watching everything. The Lord sees all and knows all. So he's going to rise up to the praise. Read that again about that arise. Psalm chapter 10, verse 12, once more. God. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, our power. Beautiful. Lift up thy hand. Forget not the humble. Wherefore do the wicked contemn the most high? Wow. He hath said in his heart, Thou would not require it. Beautiful. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite to requite it with thy hand. <clears throat> the poor committed himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Beautiful. So the Lord is going to help the needy, those that cannot fight for themselves. They can't fend for themselves. He's going to help the little man. The underdog is who he's going to help. That's going to cry out in a time of great affliction, great distress. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a standard of fire. Psalms chapter 10, verse 15, and it reads, Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Beautiful. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. So their arm is their military arm. Their teeth, their might is in their sword. Come on. The Lord Yahweh is king forever and ever. Beautiful. The heathen are purged out of his land. The Lord Yahweh, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou wilt cause thy ear to hear, to judge the fatherless in the press, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. You see that? So those that, those that are oppressed are his people that he cares about. That's who he's going to save. Israel, elect. You got something, King? Come. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 47. I'm going to start off at verse 7. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst thou remember thy latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this, thou art given to pleasures that dwellest carelessly, thou sayest in thine heart, I am and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, and thou hast said, None seeth me. Wow. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. Beautiful. And thou hast said in thine heart, mm -hmm. I am and none else 
besides me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, mm -hmm. and mischief shall fall upon thee. Yep. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. Well, that fire is going to cook your goose, daughter of Babylon. A fire is going to humble you. You have not been penetrated by these missiles, by these other nations. So you're going to be humble in the day of judgment. Fire and the invasion of these other nations. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Beautiful. Well, we're praying and hastening the day of the Lord, judgment, to balance the scales. All the foundations of the earth is out of course. Wickedness has the upper hand. Psalms. Psalms, chapter 119, verse 44. And it reads, so shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in thy commandments, which I have loved. Speak that again about I, these testimonies before kings. Once more. Psalms 119, verse 44. Yep. So shall I keep thy law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. I will speak of the testimonies also before kings. And I will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in the commandments which I have loved. Woo. My hands also will I lift up unto thy commandments. Wow which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statues. Thy statues have been my songs. Remember the word until the servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction. Mm -hmm. For the word had quickened me. The proud have had me greatly in derision. Yet have I not declined from thy law. This word is a safe haven. It is a hedge of protection. King David understood this. Come on. Psalms 119, verse 52. Yep. And it reads, I remember thy judgments of old, O Lord Yahweh, and have com comforted myself. Horror have taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake the Lord. Wow. Thy statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I have remembered thy name, O Lord Yahweh. Read that again. Psalms, chapter 119, verse 53, once more. Horror have taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsaken the Lord. No, 55, I have remembered thy name. Salak. 55. Yeah. I have remembered thy name, O Lord Yahweh. Yes. In the night and have kept thy law. This I had. Yeah. Because I kept the precepts. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Close out of 57. 57. Yeah. And it reads, Thou art my portion, O Lord Yahweh. I have said that I will keep thy words. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. So the word is how we're fighting against this global enterprise. We don't have a military. We don't have guns, swords, shields, armor. So we're taking on the word in its entirety. This is how we're fighting against the wicked global elite. The Jeff Epstein's and the damn pedophiles, witches, warlocks. We are sending out 
right hand enchantments by teaching the word. We're sending out curses and they know it. So they're scared. So the great fear starts with the international bankers. Great fear because we're prophesying. So the Lord is activating angels to bring forth prophecies, judgments, death. Let me go to the comment board. GMS Spiritual Walk 144, Psalms 91, verse 1, and it reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So this is our safe haven, being underneath the will of the Heavenly Father. His doctrine, come on. Verse 2, Yes. I will say of the Lord Yahweh, mm. He is my refuge and my fortress, Ooh. my power. Yes. In him will I trust. Beautiful. That's why King David said what? I have taught thy testimonies before kings. Because he knows that the life and death is controlled from on high. The issues of death. So we don't fear man or the global elite. We fear the most high that put him there. Come on. Was that it? Okay. It's the book of Psalms 22, which is stated, David thanks the Most High for victory. Oh, yeah. Psalms 21, David thanks the Most High for victory. I'm going to start off at verse 7. For the king trusted in Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, and through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Thine hand shall find out all thine enemies. Thy right hand, Yahweh shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. Yahweh, <laughs> by Shem Yahweh shall swallow them up in his wrath. And the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth. And their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Therefore shall thou make them so like it. Therefore shall thou make them turn their back when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy strings against the face of them. Be thou exalted, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, in thine own strength. So will we sing and praise thy power. So their sword is going to enter in to their own belly, the work of their hands, these nuclear missiles, their own technology, so their own devices is going to be used against them. Come on, King. Psalms, chapter 37, verse 10. Yes. Woo. And it reads... For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. <laughs> Yea, thou shalt diligently, diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. Yes, let's go. But the meek shall inherit the earth, wow. and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. God. The wicked plotteth against the just, yes. and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord Yahweh shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Beautiful. That's why the Bible says, in one hour, in a moment, in one day, so great riches is come to naught. For all that you stole, all that you have controlled, is going to implode in one day. Everything you stole and killed for. Come on. Verse 14, and it reads, The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. So the main target 
are the prophets, those of upright conversation. Come on. Their swords should enter into their own heart. Their what? Their swords should enter into Let's their own heart. heart. Let's go. And their bows should be broken. A little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked. So Woo! keep that which thou hast till I come. We got the word as a sword. We got the doctrine as an armor of protection and the helmet of salvation. We don't fear what man can do That's right. and his armies. Let's go. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken. Yes. But the Lord Yahweh upholdeth the righteous. Woo! The Lord Yahweh know of the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever. Mm. We got next. Adewan Raptazah, the kingdom. Come on. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. Mm. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Why? <laughs> because he's going to say, come up hither. Let's go. But the wicked shall perish. Yes. And the enemies of the Lord Yahweh shall be as the fat of the lamb. They're going to be consumed in the fire of the Lord's wrath. That's right. Let's go. They shall consume into the smoke shield they consume away. Now the devil brings us straight. It was just getting good. The devil's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Niggas <laughs> are spitting out fire. I'll go right back there. Huh? The devil's scared. He's scared. Tabernacle of David is coming. The mighty man of the house of David is coming. We coming. Honor one wrapped his eye, which means Lord willing. Come on, King. Psalms 37. Yes. Back to the king. Okay. Once more, verse 18. And it reads, The Lord Yahweh knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. But the wicked shall perish. And the enemies of the Lord Yahweh shall be as the fat of the lamb. They shall consume into smoke. That's why the Lord says what? The Lord has a sacrifice in Basra, which is talking about America. Beautiful. They shall consume into the smoke shield they consume away. Yes. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again. Bible's fire. But the righteous show of mercy and giving. So the, the righteous are showing charitable works. That's mercy. That is speaking the words of life. We're giving our sacrifice, putting our bodies on the line. Come on. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, mm. and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. So the wicked are going to be cut off and go into captivity. Let's go. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord Yahweh, and he delighteth in his way. Let's go. Though he fall, mm. He shall not be utterly cast down, uh -huh. for the Lord Yahweh uphold of him with his hand. Beautiful. I have been young, mm -hmm. and now am old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. So we temporarily fell into slavery. We were temporarily cast away. We were temporarily subdued and subject to payments under those that hate us but the same people that took us down and enslaved us are going to bow down to the sole of our feet and kiss the ground that we walk on come on he is ever merciful yes and lender and his seed is blessed Beautiful. depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore mm. For the Lord Yahweh loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. So Israel is a world without end and dwell forevermore. So the kingdom of promise is to the Israelites. Eternal life is to the Israelites. Longevity and dominion over the world 
It's 30 years of life. Let's go. They are preserved forever. Woo. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. Mm, it's too much. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. It's too much. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, mm. and his tongue talketh to judgment. So we're prophesying the destruction of the door to Babylon and the international elite going into slavery. We're speaking judgments of the Most High, not what we think or feel. Read that again, Boba Kasha. Once more. Yes. The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. So the words of our mouth are consuming this kingdom and the wicked. Come on. The law of his power is in the heart. Mm. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watch of the righteous and seek him to slay him. Uh -huh. The Lord Yahweh will not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Or well, eventually these devils are going to make a move and say, let us see if his words be true. Let us see if the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is going to protect his elect. Let's try him. It also, okay, goes in, uh, it also goes in the Micah chapter 7 verse 10 because I know that we use it for the uh, you know, the end of that's also talking about Babylon that's too exactly right because Esau saying the same thing that the nigga woman that's is exactly saying exactly right and to prove that to back the brother up when you go to Isaiah and it says shame shall cover thee that says where is thy God you go to Isaiah 47 and 3 thy shame you know what that said uh, to back you up I think it's Isaiah 47 he's somewhere between 1 and 3 Isaiah chapter 47, starting off at verse. You're exactly right. Uh, verse, I'm going to read myself from the top. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. Yeah. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered yea thy shame right shall there. be seen there it is right there i will take vengeance and i will not meet thee as a man i'm gonna back you up with michael 7 and 10. then she that is mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her which said unto me where is the lord thy god mine eyes shall behold her now shall she be trodden down like the mire of the street Isaiah 47 and 3 again. Come, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame Beautiful. shall be seen. Beautiful. I will take vengeance and will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. That's why the daughter of Babylon is called the metropolis, which translates into mother city. So Eve has a contract with the devil, the serpent, so that we can understand. Beautiful point. Beautiful point. That's it, brother. Come on, King. Psalms chapter 37, verse 34. Yep. And it reads, wait on the Lord your house. Beautiful. And keep his way. Yes, sir. And he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. So we don't have to take up arms. Come on. When the wicked are cut off, mm -hmm. thou shalt see it. Beautiful. I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Uh -huh. Yet he passed away, mm. and lo, he was not. Yea, I sought him, but he could not be found. So he is the rich man in Luke 16. The rich man passed away, but he woke up in hell. That's slavery on earth. That's right. Come on. Mark the perfect man. Do and what? Mark, mark the, the perfect, perfect man. man. Let's go. And behold the upright. Mm. For the end of that man is peace. So follow the men of the Lord. This is the way. Walk, walk ye in, in it. it. Come on. But the transgressors shall be destroyed together. Beautiful. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. Mm. But the salvation of the righteous oh. is of the Lord Yahweh. So that salvation oh. is his inheritance. Israel is a world without end. Jacob is the former of all things. Man, this Bible is too much. I'm getting hot out here. Come on. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Yes, sir. 
and the Lord Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Notice he said he shall be their strength. That's a change that's going to take on our on our bodies. You know what I said, Isaiah 40. They shall run and not get weary. I got it, brother. Oh my goodness. So we're going to be changed. He's going to make us grow wings like eagles. We're going to have supernatural abilities. We're going to run and not faint. We're going to be changed. He teaches my hands to war. Come on, King. This is the book of uh, right back Isaiah that. 40. Yes. Verse 28. Let's do it. Has thou not known? Oh. Has thou not heard? Ooh. That the everlasting power, mm. Yahweh, mm. by Hashem Yahweh Shai, mm. the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, Ooh. neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, Jeez. and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Ooh. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. You heard strength at least two times in there. So this is talking about a change that's going to come upon the men of the house of David, walking weapons of war. Come on, read that again. Psalms chapter 37, verse 38. Yes, sir. And it reads, but the transgressor shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord Yahweh. Mm. He is their strength. He is their what? He, he is, is their, their strength. strength. Let's go. In the time of trouble. Mm. And the Lord Yahweh shall help Too them much. and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. That same chapter, and I believe it's the next chapter over. I will help thee. Fear not. Thou worm, Jacob. He's got it right here. You see that? Come on. Isaiah 41, verse 14. Yes. Fear not, mm. thou worm, Jacob, mm -hmm. and ye men of Israel. Uh -huh. I will help thee. Go back to that help again. One second. Don't come back to you. But the transgressor shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. Mm -hmm. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord Yahweh. He is their strength in the time of trouble. That's the part we need to help. Oh, and the Lord Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. Read it again. And the Lord Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. Beautiful. Go back. I to will it. help thee. See that? Say if Yahweh. Right there. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Beautiful. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp thrusting instrument, yeah. having teeth. Yeah. Thou shalt thresh the mountains uh -huh. and beat them small, Beautiful. and shall make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away. The whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, yep. and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. So he's using the Israelite men as a battle axe, as a weapon. You see that? So the weapon starts with the word, a sword that cuts left and right, and we're filled with the body armor of light. His doctrine and his will. So he's shining upon his men, knights in shining armor. For you women out there, leave the niggas alone. The real men are standing up boldly in the face of those that have afflicted us. So the strength that David is talking about is the power from on high. Read it again. Come on. Verse Psalms. 37 verse 40 and it reads yes and the Lord Yahweh shall help them yes and deliver them there it is he shall deliver them from the wicked beautiful. and save them because they trust in him beautiful that's too much you got anything else brothers let's close out with here brother GMS spiritual art 144 Jeremiah 51 and 19 This Bible is fire. This Bible is heat. And the wicked elite, they can feel it. We're going to stop right at uh, 23. To the beloved brother, GMS Spiritual Arc 144. 
Jeremiah 51, 19. Uh-huh. And it reads. I love this scripture. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Uh -huh. For he is the form of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Uh -huh. The Lord Yahweh of hosts is his name. Verse 20. Thou art my battle wax and weapons of war. Uh -huh. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. I thought God loves everybody. And we're all going to get saved. All we got to do is call on Jesus. The blonde haired, blue eyed, golden retriever. The Bible says otherwise. Come on, Kate. Once more, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Yes. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horses and his rider. Mm. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Mm. With thee also will I break in pieces man and women. The nigga woman and niggas. <laughs> Read that again. <laughs> with thee also will I break in pieces man and women. Beautiful. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. Uh huh. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. So their militaries are going to be crushed. And their armies. They're raising up super soldiers that are like androids. They got men that are taking all types of micro robots. I can't go into detail. But they're being changed. Made into super soldiers. So the elite know that the Bible is a true book. Look up the DARPA super soldier program darpa d-a-r-p-a and they're super soldiers so the mighty men of david are going to be raised up in that day come on verse 23 i will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock mm. and with thee will i break in pieces the husband man and his yoke of oxen mm -hmm. and with thee will i break in pieces captains and rulers see that captains and rulers military commanders and their shepherds their leaders so the entire system is going to be destructed or deconstructed destructured excuse me or deconstructed you got anything else brothers <laughs> actually dressed like the woman too oh wow i, I know that's, that's, right. that's right. That's right. Wearing a dress. I can't believe it. Wow. Only to see um, a woman. She looked like from the movie, um, what's that, Max? Movie Mad Max. Goddamn whips and chains and leather. The hell is this? We actually saw one walk by with her hair down and wearing a dress. That's adultery. You can't do that. No. <laughs> if she's married, you can't. You ain't supposed to, you know, look upon her. Anyway. And you got your brothers got anything else? I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. When the elite know that the Bible is a true book, how do we know that? Because they're messing with the channels, the videos. They're striking us, taking us down. They're shadow banning. So if it was not true, why even bother? Why is there a hundred and twenty thousand man internet task force dedicated? to monitor social media. So what we're witnessing is a major pivotal event in these last days. And I feel blessed to be a part of it, to be a battle, to be a soldier on the battlefield for our power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and not sitting back, eating and watching from the sideline. So this is a privileged position that we don't take lightly. We're gonna go ahead and close out. Go ahead and face the east. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, and Havashah, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor and respect to the elders, to the apostles, a great millstone. Much love, honor, and respect to the beloved brothers, for the hopeful elect, helping to edify the body and feed the lambs of Yahweh, Bashem, and Havashah. And to the beloved ladies, of the hopeful elect of the house of David, listening and learning in meekness and humility, as the scriptures command to do so. To you we say, Shalom.
ETA, Abad, Baba, Shalom, Baraka Thumb. Y'all better download this lesson. <laughs> this lesson was heavy today, man. Shalom, beloved. Yeah, yeah I want up getting hot. My goodness, this is my love. Huh. My lady. Shalom, beloved. Alma Yasharala. That's a beautiful yeah. sister right there, too. <clears throat> yep. Hard day, man. And the beloved warriors. Let's go. Shalom. 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 See you on the next one. I don't want Which means Lord willing. Shalom.